All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. The Evil Dead is a horror cult classic, one of the first video nasties. The original movie starring Ash Williams and his soon-to-be-dead friends came out in 1981. With gruesome deaths, demonic entities, and traumatizing scenes, The Evil Dead marked an entire generation of horror fans, and Margaret Thatcher. The original story of Ash Williams spans three movies, with his recent soft reboot in 2013 and various comic books. Considering the cult following of the movie series, it didn't take too long for gaming companies to wise up and publish Evil Dead video games, all the way back to the Commodore 64 at times. But 17 years after the last non-mobile game inspired by the trilogy, Ash is finally back on consoles and PC in 2022 with Evil Dead the Game. This brand new game packs several references to the movies, from its iconic main character, to some less obvious nods to Sam Raimi's work. My name is Jerome, and today we will go over the Evil Dead movie references in Evil Dead The Game. What would Evil Dead be without Ash Williams? Well, I guess you could say the remake or the upcoming Evil Dead Rise, but no one likes a smartass. Anyways, we're talking classic Evil Dead here. So Ash is the main character of the series, played by Bruce Campbell, starring in the original trilogy of Sam Raimi. And even if he isn't a main character in a 2013 reboot, he still makes a cameo at the end of the movie. Sort of. So of course, Ash had to be a playable character in Evil Dead the game. And there are not one, but four versions of Ash in the game. You can play as the original Ash from the first Evil Dead movie, weakness to bookcases and all, a support character that would help his team with both hands. Ash from Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn, aka the best movie ever made, has a bit more fighting experience. He is a hunter and excels when fighting from afar using ranged weapons. Groovy. After a trip to medieval times, Ash gains stamina with his Army of Darkness version. As a warrior, he prefers melee combat thanks to his damage reduction perks and shield. And of course, he can count on his chainsaw to slice up his enemies. The last version of Ash available in Evil Dead the game is from the TV series Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Ash has been slashing demonic entities for over 30 years now, making him the natural leader of his group. His aura increases the damage and fear resistance of his group, while the chainsaw that replaces his hand comes in quite handy when he needs to dismember an enemy. Other iconic characters from the Evil Dead universe are available in the game. Cheryl Williams, Ash's sister, is in better shape in Evil Dead the game than at the end of the original movie. Cheryl is a support character able to reduce fear levels and restore some health to her companions. Just like Cheryl, Scotty is joining the crew to help his friend Ash party down. Scotty is a warrior and excels in melee combat, dealing devastating blows to nearby enemies while reducing his fear levels with each kill. Two characters from the second Evil Dead movie, Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn, also known as the best film in the world, made their way to the game. Annie Noby and Professor Ed Getley, the two Necronomicon experts, are back to kill some demons. Annie is a leader, increasing her teammates ranged weapon damage. Unfortunately, all the men in her life are Kendarian demons, Kendarian demons. Meanwhile, Ed Gethley is a relic hunter. His flashlight allows him to detect and temporarily disarm demon traps, while his crossbow deals heavy damage to anyone in his sights. Lord Arthur and Henry the Red are the playable characters coming from Army of Darkness, also known as Bruce Campbell vs. the Army of Darkness, and potentially known as the Medieval Dead in production, the third Evil Dead movie. Lord Arthur is an in-game leader who specializes in close-range fights, decreasing fear levels while boosting the melee attacks of anyone near him. Henry the Red is a warrior with various perks increasing his shields and overall survivability. The three remaining survivors available in Evil Dead the game come from the TV series Ash vs. Evil Dead. Pablo Simon Bolivar, Ash's co-worker and loyal sidekick, is a support character gifted in the shamanic arts. He is able to hide from demons and help his teammates go unnoticed by the evil forces. Kelly Maxwell is a hunter whose ranged attack caused bleeding damage to her targets. She stays out of the front line, killing demons from afar. And Amanda Fisher, the Michigan State Trooper, is also a hunter. She uses her pistol to shoot at her enemies from a distance, with a special ability allowing her to shoot without spending ammo for a short amount of time. She's also probably the closest we'll ever have to a live-action version of Sugar Baby from the Army of Darkness comic series. And then we have Ash's girlfriend Linda, who's not a playable character but still appears in the game. And just as Ash adds to Decapitator in the movie, we get to see her possessed head in the first mission of the game. Go 
Most of the lead actors from the franchise lent their voices to their characters in Evil Dead the game. Briscoe County Jr. himself, Bruce Campbell, voices every version of Ash, naturally. Betsy Baker returns as Linda. Ellen Sandweiss is Cheryl. Hal Delrich, whose real name is Rich DeManincore, is Scotty. Dana De Lorenzo is Kelly. And Ray Santiago is back as Pablo Simon Bolivar, all voiced by their original actors. Meanwhile, some new actors take over some classic roles. Jim Peary is now Professor Noby, Kimberly Brooks takes over Amanda Fisher, and Sissy Jones is the new Annie Noby, taking over from the original actors. Teresa Tilly was announced as Shelley, Scotty's girlfriend, but most likely won't appear until a DLC update. Of course, if the characters have a dead-eyed version, the actors voice them as well. If survivors are the most popular characters, some demons from the Evil Dead movies are also quite iconic. And in Evil Dead The Game, you can play as one of those demons. There are three demon teams, each with basic enemies, strong enemies, and each with a boss-type character. The Warlord team consists of three types of characters. Two are Deadites, and then there's Henrietta, the wife of archaeologist Raymond Noby, who got possessed by the Kandarian demons over at the Noby cabin. Now there's one lady whose fruit cellar you don't want to be in. The Puppeteer team features Eligos, a demon with telekinetic powers summoned from the Necronomicon in the TV series Ash vs. Evil Dead, as well as a demi Eligos and some dude that's possessed by him, I guess. Sure. And finally, the Necromancer team stars Evil Ash, the demonic doppelganger of Army of Darkness' Hero of Time. Most of the characters' outfits are references to the movies. For instance, Ash from Army of Darkness can either wear his default outfit, armor from medieval times, or his S-Mart uniform from when he worked at the department store. The weapons themselves also come from the movies. You can recreate your iconic date with Linda with the shovel from the first movie, opt to kill everyone with the chainsaw and carve yourselves a witch from the second movie, or even fire up the famous boomstick, Ash's shotgun from Army of Darkness. This is my boomstick! The game is set on one huge map filled with several iconic locations. You can venture to the Nobi Cabin, the creepy house in the woods from the first two movies. The cabin was recreated to look just like in the movies, with various details lying around. Outside the cabin, you can see the iconic Oldsmobile Delta from Sam Raimi's movies, such as Darkman, or Spider-Man, or even Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. There's a really funny easter egg in the cabin when you play the evil force. You can possess the deer head hanging on the wall to spit blood on the survivors. It's of course a reference to Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn when Ash finds shelter in the cabin, only to find a possessed deer head laughing maniacally at him, before the entire room starts laughing, including Ash. One of the most memorable moments from the movie. Another funny reference to Evil Dead 2 is hidden in the game. When Ash searches the cabin, he'll come across a desk with various books. One of them is A Farewell to Arms, an obvious nod to the fact that Ash lost his hand, but also a reference to Evil Dead 2 when he had to cut off his own hand and place the bucket over it and put a copy of A Farewell to Arms on top of the bucket to prevent the severed hand from escaping. The scene when Ash fights against his own hand is also present in the game. In Evil Dead 2, the hand attacks Ash, who has to defend himself and eventually stab it with a knife, and then lop it off with a chainsaw at the wrist. In the game, the severed hand comes out flying from a crate to attack its former owner. The Kandarian demon can booby-trap supply chests with Ash's possessed hand, or an army of tiny ashes from Army of Darkness. There are several funny moments and just funny things in Army of Darkness, like the one where a skeleton plays the flute with a human bone while others play bagpipes. In the game, the necromancer can summon a skeletal flutist, not the most dangerous foe, but he buffs all nearby enemies, and it's also a cool reference. Since Army of Darkness is set in medieval times, most references to this movie appears as old paintings in the game. On the second floor of a cabin, there are paintings showing Castle Kandar, an ancient altar, as well as the windmill where the mini ash clones appear. Throughout the games, survivors drink a lot of Shemp's Cola to restore their health. It's a direct reference to Shemp's beer, Ash's favorite beverage in the TV show Ash vs. Evil Dead. All of this, of course, is a reference to Shemp Howard, who used to be the fourth stooge. Shemp's? It'll do, I suppose. Another popular drink from Ash vs. Evil Dead is the Pink Fuck, a cocktail made of vodka, strawberry liqueur, grenadine, lemonade, orange zest, and nutmeg. This drink is known as Pink F in the game and unlocks skill points for the survivors drinking it. To select a new mission in the game, you have to select a tape recorder from the mission screen. These tapes are references to the ones used in the 1980s, back when Evil Dead came out as a video nasty. 
When you play as the Evil Force, the camera switches to a dynamic first-person view similar to the camera movement for the Evil Force in the Evil Dead movies. Evil Dead is, as its name suggests, full of evil and dead people. If you pay closer attention to the various gravestones in the cemetery, you will find popular names. One of the headstones reads Bruce Raimi, the combination of the names of Bruce Campbell, Ash's actor, and Sam Raimi, Evil Dead's creator. Other makeshift gravesites look just like the one Ash made for his friends in the Evil Dead movies. Well, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Which Evil Dead? What the hell was that? No! <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments which character is your favorite, and make sure to join us and like this video, and subscribe to the leaderboard for more gaming content every week. We want more pretty flesh. <laughs>